Today we're chatting with Miff Warhurst about Bang On Live. Like it's really important to hear diversity of voices. I'll tell you about this year's Newcastle Writers Fest and Dan will give you a heads up on this weekend's Mullet Fest event. Produced on Awabakal and Warramai land, this is the good stuff on Newcastle Live. This is good. Good stuff. The good stuff. The program for this year's Newcastle Writers Festival has just been announced. There's a lineup of 150 guest artists featuring the likes of Brian Brown, Pia Miranda, and Midnight Oil's Jim Magini. The 2024 Newcastle Writers Festival will take over Newey from the 5th of April. To find out more, head on over to newcastlelive.com.au. Good. One of Australia's most loved podcasts, Bang On, will be bringing their live show here to Newcastle on the 7th of March. Here's the chat that we had with Miff Warhurst while she was here in Newey. How has this experience differed from everything else that you've done? Oh, wow. Well, I've never done theatre before. Yeah. Music theatre, I've never done. I've always watched and, you know, grown up watching Rocky Horror and, um, you know, being a, a, a music fan, it was kind of a... a when, when they offered me the role of narrator, it was like, hang on a minute, me? That's normally an old man, a ser- <laughs> very serious old man. And I'm far from that, but they yep. said, no, we want you and we're going to kind of go with a different vibe. And so I thought, stuff it, I'll give it a go. And it's been unbelievable. I've had so much fun. Yeah. I never thought I could do it and because I, I just didn't. I didn't think it'd be something I would do and I love it. But you've had heaps of stage experience before. Yeah. Why did you feel like you couldn't do theatre? Well, I think because I've... Well, stage experience is really more presenting for me yeah. and the Spicks and Specs live tour, which was hilarious, you know, like we would... That was just us mates mucking around kind of thing. But this was learning lines, working with a whole cast. Yeah. And dancing as well. And yeah. I, singing, I suspect they turned my mic off for the whole thing. So. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm fine with that. I'm still singing loudly and I look like I'm singing. So <laughs> so what have been some standout moments from your time here in Newcastle? I have loved being here in Newcastle so much. I don't want to leave. Yeah. Like, I genuinely don't want to leave. I, I've been living close to the beach, a couple of streets back. And every morning I've, I've had my dog with me I've been walking her to the dog beach Amazing. and then walking around and then back up and it's just so beautiful but everyone here has been really welcoming as well I think they're really grateful that we came to the theatre and, and then brought this this show which is pretty extraordinary like the quality of talent is amazing yeah absolutely. apart from me yeah. apart from me <laughs> But it's, I think, yeah, I've just been so welcomed. We've all been so welcomed. Me especially. And, I, yeah, I'm like, oh, God, if I could live here, I would. Yes, I it's really perfect. Would. So you'll be bringing Bang On live here to Newey on the 7th of March, right? Yeah, not that far away, no. actually. I thought it was, um, I thought we had a lot longer than this. But, no, I'm back already. <laughs> exactly. So I hope people aren't sick of me <laughs> and um, hope they want to come. But we've got lots of listeners in yeah, yeah. Newcastle of the podcast. And it'll be a very different show. Not quite as, you know, um, Mm. high octane as as this one. Well, before I ask about the show, I do want to put in a little special mention to my producer, who's actually off with COVID at the moment. Really sad um, because we pushed this back so much. He kept testing, being like, please let me come. But he's got an original... Um, bang on badge. Get out! Yeah. One of the originals that we made in my house. Yes. Many, many years you ago. made it. We, Zan and I made them by hand at my kitchen in Brunswick in Melbourne. I don't live at that house yeah, anymore. Yeah. But we, we bought the machine. Um, yeah, they're, they're very, very rare and very special. Okay. Those ones. So tell him it might get five bucks for it on, on the internet. <laughs> I think you would have to pry that badge out of his dead hands. I think one of them, actually speaking of hairs, has got one of my hairs in it, but we just no went, oh, way. well, that, that'll, that'll, that'll be fine. So how does the show translate from a podcast to the live production? Well, we've been working on ideas because we haven't done our first one yet. We do our first one in Adelaide at the Fringe Festival. I think that's in a couple of weeks. And what we'll do is essentially it'll be the podcast. You know, we talk about stuff that's happened that week. We'll dissect a long read. We'll, you know, do all the things that we do in the podcast because people love that. But then we'll also... We have some plans and they're very good plans. They may involve... There's, we, we talk about Farhashen a lot. Yep, beautiful. Um, yep, there may be some sort of Farhashen parade. <laughs> 
which could involve <laughs> audience members. So okay. I'm saying at this point, just dress your best because you know we love we love fashion and the ridiculousness <laughs> of it. So that that'll be highlighted. Dress your best, um, and you may get a Guernsey. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. But there'll be that. There'll be you know we'll encourage wine time, obviously, yeah. if, if if people want to want to have a drink. You know. It's, <laughs> We like to have a little bit of wine time too, so there, there'll be that. And it, I think it'll just be a really nice opportunity for people to kind of be a part of that community because mm. that's what I love about going to see podcasts is, you know, really it's just people sitting around talking. Yeah, definitely. But there's that sense of community and you see all your people and you all kind of get it and you, you all know the same language and it's yeah. just, it's so heartwarming. I can't wait. Do you have any advice for especially young women who mm. are coming up through... Um, the media industry here in Australia? Yeah. Oh, goodness me. Um, look, it's a difficult time to come up in the, in the media industry regardless of, you know, your background. But I think if you believe in it, stick at it. And I think the one bit of advice I'd give myself um, is not listen so much to the outside noise of what... If you're putting yourself in the media... You, the criticism that you cop these days is so much more than we ever did. I don't think I would have got through it had I been younger yeah. and there'd been more internet. I think I was very lucky. So I know that, that people coming up now are much more used to that stuff, but it's like you've got to shut it out because otherwise it will silence you. And, and the worst thing that can happen is that voices are silenced, regardless of you know your background or you know what... You, what group you come from or, or whatever like it's really important to hear diversity of voices it's so essential because otherwise people get fed the same you know yeah definitely the same kind yep. of perspective mm-hmm. image look content so we got to keep fighting for you know representing ourselves and and representing other groups because yeah don't let people silence you if you feel like you want to pop your head up yeah. When you bring Bang On Live, uh, when you're touring it, are you actually going to record it? Yes, we are. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll record it because we, we, we'll still do our podcast every week. Mm. So this is like an addition and we'll probably, we'll have special guests as well coming to each show. Wow. Yeah, very exciting. Can you give any hints? No hints, no hints. <laughs> no hints, no that's hints okay. So far. We <laughs> haven't blocked them in as okay. yet, so that's head there for no <laughs> hint. Um, but yeah, we'll um, definitely be putting those bits out as extras or maybe if they if it was a great show we'll put the whole show yeah out. that's so, so exciting yeah so you'll be able to hear yourself in the audience if you're in there and and having a good time but yeah the, the point is to just give people an opportunity because for so we planned to do this years ago mm. but because of covid and we we're in melbourne we couldn't do a thing you yeah, know, for years and really it's taken that long for us to kind of get it all back on track and and now we're finally doing it it's been Seven or eight years? My wow. Go- my goodness, yeah. Well, now it's just around the corner, literally a month away. I know. <laughs> I'm so excited to come back here. Yes. The Civic is beautiful. The people here are beautiful. I've, we're just so, we've been so happy to be here. Like, it's been such a lovely experience on so many levels, yeah. Amazing. Miff, thank you so much oh, for spending some time with us. Thank you so much. It's lovely. Lovely to see you. This is work. So good. Good stuff. Mullet Fest will return to its spiritual home in Curry Curry this weekend. The search for the country's most luscious locks will then move on to the Newcastle show. Entries are now open, so if you think you've got what it takes, make sure you head to newcastlelive.com.au to find out more. That's it for the good stuff today. I'd love to say the biggest thank you ever to Miff Warhurst for spending some time with us. Be sure to grab your tickets and we'll see you at the show. Toodaloo.